Hey guys, we are going to add a fraction and an improper fraction. An improper fraction just means the top is bigger than the bottom, but we're going to treat it the same way. We don't have to do anything different. So the one bad news thing is that when we add fractions, the denominators have to be the same. I'm sorry. So we need to get them the same. If you're wondering what happens if we don't get them the same, I will link a video for you in the corner. But so what I think is what is the smallest number four and eight both go into? Well, they both go into eight, right? So good news. This one already has a denominator of eight. So we don't have to change that one. This one, we want to have a denominator of eight. So what do I multiply four by to get it to be eight? Well, I multiply it by two, right? So I'm going to multiply the bottom by two. But I can't just go multiplying by two wherever I want, right? I need to make sure that it stays balanced. So what I can do is multiply the top by two as well. And the reason I can do that is because I'm really multiplying by two over two, which simplifies down to one. Okay. So I'm really just multiplying by one. It's just a weird looking one. So I'm going to change what the fraction looks like, but not its value. Okay. So when I multiply these, I do two times three gives me six. Two times four gives me eight. And now I have a denominator of eight, okay? So three-fourths and six-eighths are the same fraction. They just look a little different, okay? And we are still adding our 11 eighths over here, okay? When I add fractions, my denominator stays the same in my answer. That's why we needed them to be the same, right? And then I'm going to add the numerator. So six plus 11 gives me 17, okay? So that is my answer as an improper fraction, okay? But your teacher or just you maybe might want it written as a mixed number, which if you need some more examples of that, I'll link some in the corner. But to turn this into a mixed number, I just asked myself, how many times does eight go into 17? Well, it goes in twice, right? Because two times 18 is 16. Um, so we have one left over to get to that 17. And then my denominator is still eight. Okay. So either one of those two can be your answer. Okay. They're the same fraction. Just one's written as a improper fraction and one as a mixed number. Okay. All right. Hopefully that made sense. If this video helped you, if you could hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. But hopefully this made sense. Bye.